Hey everybody, welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Welcome back to the channel. We're not going to be doing a court farm contract series, so if you've noticed, we're actually on that save game. I'm actually setting up for that. But I've planned this video out for some time now, and it's to talk about 2024 as a whole and how big this year is going to be for Farming Simulator. I'm dead excited for this year. I've got a few things going on personally myself, which is traveling to FarmCon. I'm obviously going to Lamber as well. But FS25, that is the main reason to this video. I'm super excited to, for FS25. I'm sure a lot of people are. Uh, and as the time's gone on playing the game, I've just kind of got me own wish list. I'm sure everyone else has done the same. You know, the things that they want to see in the next FS game. And I thought, let's talk about it. Let's talk about FarmCon. Whilst I'm setting up as well, let's just do this because I want to pass over my ideas and, and just get some ideas and inspiration in the chat as well because it's exciting thinking about the next FS game and what's going to potentially come. I mean, no one knows. No one has a clue really except the people in Giants what's going to happen. So let's have a chat. Let's, let's talk about it. I'll share my ideas. And yeah, please, in the comment section, share yours. So I've got a list in front of me of some of the ideas I've had. Now, I've had to obviously shorten this list down because I think I had about 30 ideas. And some of them were just like dream ideas that I don't think are ever going to happen, especially for a few years at least. Uh, but So I made like a list of 10 realistic things that I want to see, hope to see in FS25. So let's get through it. The first one on my list is tool maintenance or vehicle maintenance. Now, I think it's important that we get something like this in the next game. How cool would it be to have bull tires, to having to check, to take it somewhere? I mean, it'd be so cool if we had to take it to... I don't know, let's say a garage that was built into the map, kind of like a production thing where you took your, your vehicle in and, you know, you had to buy some tyres and then get them changed. Or there could be loads of different ways to do this. You could do it where it's just, you know, in a, in a menu section to the game and you don't actually see it. But I'd love it if you actually had, like, I don't know, some kind of tool, toolbox where you, you place the toolbox down a bit like we do now, but it's, instead of it being a trigger that just says repair... The trigger pops up and it says, right, you need a new oil change. This is how much it is for a new oil filter, uh, some fresh oil. Your tires are bald. They start wearing your tires. Do things like that actually happen? So, you know, I need new tires. I need, um, like I said, think, it's only going to be small things, but you might have damages and repairs that you need to do. So it could be like the, the engine's wearing, that you need to replace the engine. It's going to cost more. So, you know, obviously tires would have their own price, but then an oil filter would have its own price. And then a big price would be like an engine change. And you had to do this to your tractors and they start wearing. So it doesn't, it doesn't just wear as a whole. It wears individually in each of these different aspects of a vehicle or tool. Um, I'd love to see that, like mowers having mower blades that wear out and you need to change the mower blades. And even if it's just placing your toolbox by it, so the toolbox doesn't, you know, repair the whole vehicle, it just repairs, it just brings up that item. So it could be a, a mower, for example, you press the trigger to it, it brings it up, it shows you all the parts that are in that tool. So you've got, like, for a mower, you're probably going to have blades, maybe maybe some something else, I don't know, like a belt of some sort, who knows. And then you, you, can, you can change, replace, repair, maintain, things like that. I'd, just, I'd love to, to see something like that, even if it's like grease, you know, applying grease to all the different kind of hydraulics. And I, I just think it's it's got to be something that we see, hopefully soon. That's that's a big one for me. I, I really want to see some kind of tool maintenance, but an interactive tool maintenance, I think, is the main point for me. Right, so the next one on my list is animals. I mean, better animals, more animals, more involved animals, anything you want to call it. Um, but you, if you watch my game style, my game style is I like to do dairy farming. I obviously do quite a bit of sheep farming, everything really. I like to play the game included with animals. So for me, I think animals needs to improve, definitely. I think it's a weak a weakness to the game, really, because of the fact that how in-depth it could possibly be. We, I know we've got a lot of mods that are changing the game. Like without the mods that have come to FS22, we probably wouldn't have, like obviously the enhanced animal mod, which is an absolutely outstanding mod. It's brilliant. That is, it's a game changer. That was to add, you know, the the the, the difference in the breeding program that that adds in, which again should be hopefully in FS25. That's what I'm hoping for. But then also the, you know, you can have young stock. So it could be like lambs, piglets, calves, whatever it is. I think that needs to happen. It does. And I know there's restrictions to the game in FS with, with Farming Simulator. I know Giants have restrictions to try and keep it to the rating they want to do. Uh, but I understand that still, it's part of life. Breeding and, you know, animal breeding is a different kettle of fish. 
but I'd love it if it was more involved. I'd, I really would. Um, obviously, better feeding as well. We, Maze Plus changes the changes the game for the better. But there's so many different ways to feed these animals, and they all have different kind of like dietary requirements. You know, a cow's not going to feed the same as a chicken and a horse and all that kind of stuff. But they have a big variety of feed. So I'd just love to see better feeding, a more involved animal system. And that comes with tending to animals as well. But I've got my main idea. I've left it for number 10, which kind of everything plays into. And I think it'd be a cracking idea. So when, when I get to 10, you can see that all these things are probably going to kind of fit into that. But like better in animals, more involved, more hands-on, more jobs to do with animals. I think it's important to that we improve on the animals and I'm hoping to see a big improvement even even if it's not more animals included I know that'd be nice to see different animals but I think they've got the core farming animals included I just want to see it a bit more in depth and yeah a bit more involved because for people like me who play the game and that's the, my game style I just think it's been lacking and I think the mods is, is what's made the animals in FS22 especially FS22 Right, so the next one I think is important just because of the fact for console players alone it's something they've probably been screaming out for for quite some time. Now we're lucky as PC players to have all drive and course play but we need a better way to have AI workers. The AI worker that's built into the game now is, is it works, it does the job, it obviously got an improvement from FS19 but course play and auto drive just sets the standard of what can be possible to have an option like this and go into the game and like in this field boundary have it like you can change the headlands the amount that you're doing you can you know you're not just doing up and down stretches you can do headland passes like i think this needs to be somehow implemented into the base game we need a better system for ai workers and i think it is possible i, I do i do think it's possible for them to build this in if course play obviously is an incredible mod it really is but it shouldn't just be restricted to pc um, and it is a shame that it is but i understand the limitations that console obviously gives and i hope that uh, we move over from having the neck the old gen console into fs25 i think they have to get rid of the ps4 versions of consoles and just stick to the new gen or the latest generation so the restrictions are better and you know because that's what's holding it back i think the game is they've, they've gone to the older gen console and i know there'll be some players that still play on that but i think it has to move forward just to make the game better because um, it, it's holding it back, really. That, that's the problem with it. And I know the PC can show all the possibilities, but it still holds even PC back because of the fact we're, you know, we're, we're, we're obviously accommodating to these old generation platforms. Now, the new gen, PS5 and the Xbox equiv equivalent, is obviously a brilliant system and should have a lot of the, the same mods, if not all, that the PC does. Um it's just about the things that they can put on, like obviously copyrighted, so they can't have Ford when Ford's not in the game, but you can on PC because obviously it's a modded version. So things like that probably can't go on console, but that doesn't limit things like this, which is obviously course play. So having you know a field like this, for example, uh, and having a course that can be set up with headlands, passes, and it's you know it's a little bit more in depth. It did improve in FS19 for sure, but having the option to have like a course play system and even an auto drive system where you can kind of make it yourself that's that's the thing i think's missing from the ai worker version of auto drive where you can drive to one location to the other uh, it'd be nice that people are playing on custom farms that have built their own farms got their own custom field layouts uh, to to obviously record a course for a tractor to follow like you can in auto drive so i hope to see that or at least an improvement going into fs25 Right, so as we're driving this back, I've obviously got to take this back just because I'm setting up for the next video on Court Farms. Um, I thought I'd talk about the next one because it's something that I can't really show off unless I jump out the game. And I'm I'm kind of like just setting up as I'm doing this just to try and two birds, one stone and all that kind of stuff. So the next one for me is it's kind of like a pet peeve of something I have to do. Now, I know this is probably not the same for all, but I'd love a mod search option in the start menu. So what I mean by that is when you boot up a save game, you go to another page where you've got all your mods that are activated. Now, I sometimes have a lot of mods in that list, and I might just be searching for one that I've just added in um, that I want to activate, or one that I want to deactivate, so I have to find it and scroll through, and yes, they're in alphabetical order, but I want to be able to search in there. I want to be able to type in that box, in that on that kind of menu, the mod name, and then I also want to be able to 
maybe sort so I could sort from my activated to my unactivated mod so it only just shows you the un unactivated mods and then shows you the activated ones for example I think that would help so much for us players that obviously play with a lot of mods because of the fact that it's yeah currently it is really restricted with that it's it's just a menu with all your mods and you have to scroll for them find the one you're after whereas it, I think it can be better it can just it just put a search section in there for mods um, and the sorting section as well I think I mean, I don't know if I'm the only one who thinks this, but I've had so many times where I've got probably like 500 mods on a save game. Um, and I do have more. Obviously, I try to organize them outside of, of, you know, the save game. So I think I've got like 3,000 mods currently. And, you know, some of my save games have got 500 in. Some have probably got a little bit more. The Farman probably has got more. Um, and then when I'm obviously putting them into the folder for each save game that I'm loading up, I'm always finding that... Yeah, if I'm searching for a few to add in or a few to take out, it'd just be nice to have the option to like even just sort between the ones that are activated and ones that are not, so I can then just activate the ones that I need to, um, and it'll just show it a lot easier. It'd just be so much easier to sort out if that was the case. So I'm hoping for that kind of feature, you know, just just within the uh, the mod menu technically that comes up just before you jump into your game. So the next one, I think this is actually number five, so we're halfway through the ones that I've kind of singled out as the most important to me. If we look around here and we look at Arx's map, we can see how amazing this map is. It's detailed to hell. There's a lot of map makers out there that obviously are really good at the UK style map creation. Now, I don't think we've ever had an FS base game UK map, and that's what I want to see. I want to see a UK base game map and we've had a lot of american ones we've had a lot from the europe area we've obviously had dlcs with the one eastern european ones and stuff like that but we've never had a uk map and a lot of fs players are from uk and i think it's being neglected that you know it's i think part of me thinks it's being forgotten about sometimes the uk kind of players we, we are forget forgotten about there's so many mods that are on mod Hub as well that are uk style made by uk modders i'd love to see a uk map base game and I think it's something that has to happen soon, and it should should happen soon. They're probably going to always make an American-based game map on launch, but I think they should start making a few more UK maps, or at least one, because I can't think of one UK map that's base game. Now, I started playing from FS17, so there might have been one before that, but from you know since FS17 days, there's never been a base game UK map, and I'd love to see that, because I think Giants are doing an outstanding job and it'd probably be one of my favourite maps if they did it. So I'm hoping for that. My fingers are crossed. I want to see a UK map, and I want it to be base game made by Giants. Right, the next one I imagine is going to be on everyone's wish list, which is dynamic ground and weather. Now, I think this is something that we've been slowly getting to over the kind of the course of the last two generations of Farming Simulator, and I think we're, I, I, I'm predicting this is probably going to be one we'll definitely see, which is dynamic weather, or dynamic ground. So when it rains, you see it on the ground, as in you see the ground getting wet, puddling up, but also your tractor will obviously perform differently in them conditions. We might see puddle patches or mud patches accumulating in sections like this, which is, you know, a driveway where you're obviously going to get more kind of interaction with the tractor and obviously that's going to probably generate a bit of mud so i'd love to see that but at the same time i want to see it where it gets to minus temperatures in the winter that puddle that's been generated from the rain freezes over we get like ice patches accumulating in sections where you know this tractor has obviously damaged the ground coming in and out of this field through this entrance area uh, and there's a load of you know it's wet it's mud it's a it's wet it's a it's a muddy puddle that's now frozen over and we see the changes in not only the textures, because I think we get that already, we get the texture changes, you know, there's some brilliant things that Oxys have done on the hedges as well, so we see the snow accumulating on the hedges, but I would love to see a dynamic system where, yeah, the, there's ground changing. So the ground is actually changing. Um, it's obviously, get, like I said, we're getting puddles, muddy puddles, but then they're freezing over in the winter, things like that, and I want to see it on the tractor, I want to see the tractor struggling in them situations, you know, like things like this that Oxys have, 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 has made as well. You know, um, obviously it's it's a wet kind of 
runoff area, but we want it to freeze over. When it starts raining, we want to see more volume of water flowing through this area because obviously you, you'd naturally get that. Um, also things like the roads as well. I want to be able to see the roads getting wet and also in the, in the snowy conditions, not just the snow accumulating to the side like snow drifts or anything like that. I want to see ice on the road, you know, like things like that that show that the ground is changing dynamically to the weather. I think that would be such a brilliant addition to the FS game. And if Giants, if you're listening, honestly, that's that's a winner for you. And you can never fail on that. If you add that in, loads of people are going to be happy. It's going to change the game for the better. And I think it would be, you know, one of the biggest aspects you could actually bring to the game. Um, it'd be awesome. It'd be awesome to have them kind of features going along. And with that, it kind of perfectly fits into my next one, which is better seasons. Now, I've been honest about this multiple times, but FS19 Seasons mod by the team that obviously brought us that is it was a much better Seasons package than the FS base game version we got this time around. We had a downgrade, in my opinion. Now, I love what Giants did and went and brought it into the base game and had it as an option, and I always think that that's probably the best route to take. You know, it's probably going to take more work for Giants to implement things like that. having these things as on and off options that you can, you know, select yourself. But I think it's the right thing to do because we all play differently. Some people just want to play for fun. Some people want to play for fun, but with a bit of realism. And then you get some people that just play with full realism and they want all these features enabled. So it's nice to have that option. And I think with the seasons we got now, that was a good, a good thing to do, having it to turn on and turn off. But it was a downgrade. The things like grass don't rot. If you leave hay out in the field, it doesn't rot. Like I could make grass from this field. It could get rained on. In an FS19, it'd start rotting away. So you knew, you know, you had to get get that grass, get that grass bailed up quickly and get it in cover. Because even if you, you left a bale out and, it, you know, you, you were out in the fields, you, you tedded the hay, you bailed it all up, but then it started raining. As soon as that bale got rained on, it's going to rot away. So you, you know you had to get it under cover which is was such a nice thing to have an fs19 putting the bales under cover because you know that they're going to start rotting away if they get wet which which again is realistic you know some bales would dry out don't get me wrong but i think that was a, maybe a bit extreme but still i like that kind of aspect where you know at the end of the day a lot of the things with real life farming are always determined by the weather so having that kind of like extra feature to the gameplay it just changed the dynamic of how you were playing you knew uh, you had to look at the weather whereas now i'm not really fussed about the weather in fs22 i never actually look at it and think it's going to change the way i play the game but in fs19 seasons it really did change the way i played the game like for like the example i've just given i was out mowing in the summer or maybe even in the springtime when there was a bit more of a chance to rain i was doing some bailing i obviously bailed my hay bales up then I saw the rain that was on the way. I thought, right, I need to get that undercover soon as because if these bales get rained on, everything I've just done goes to waste. And I love that kind of feature. Even the drying aspect of hay was better. Nowadays, you can just ted the grass, it dries. FS19 Seasons was amazing because you didn't need to ted the grass. You just left the grass out. And if it was sunny, it would dry. So you needed the weather to do it, which is technically how it's always made. Right? You can ted the grass and turn it over but you need to still let the sun dry out that grass. So you made hay when the sun shined, which is the title of Tom Pemberton's book, which is Make Hay When the Sun Shines, because that's when you're making hay. So it's nice to have, you know, that feature, FS19. We, we downgraded by going to FS22. We definitely need things like that back. I just hope they add that option in again where, yeah, let the sun do the drying. You know, we can still ted the, ted the grass to turn it over, but the sun should be turning it into hay. And it'd be nice to just sit out on the field, you've got your grass, then all of a sudden it had turned to hay because the sun had done its thing in FS19 seasons. Right, so the next one's probably a bit of an obvious one, but it does need to happen with each upgrade to Farming Simulator, which is graphics. Graphics and physics, and uh, probably crops as well. Things like that always have to be added in. So you want to always see some more crops. You always want to see better graphics, but physics for me, I've always thought, like, they do need to improve on the physics, just just in my opinion. All these are my opinion. I mean, somebody will probably really disagree with what I'm saying, and that's the beauty of it. You know, we're all entitled to our own opinions. We all have our own hopes for the game going forward. But for me, physics is something that, well, from FS19, has improved definitely. I mean, the 
the palettes in FS19 were tragic, but in FS22 they've done a massive improvement on that. And I think the same needs to happen with things like bales, because I know bales are probably more realistic to the actual size and weight. Like that probably is the right capacity and weight, as you see, 465 kilograms. But in game, 465 kilograms doesn't actually weigh that much in comparison to when you're picking things up with a tally handler. So I always find that the bales need to be heavier because if they're heavier, they stack easier. So you're not knocking them over as much. Um, and they're heavy, aren't they? Let's be honest. Grass silage bales, if you've ever seen one, they are heavy bales. Um, but in the game, they just seem a lot lighter than what they should be. So I think we should just try and up the you know, the, the mass of them, which I've actually been doing recently. I've changed the capacity and the mass of all the bales, which is actually improved. Um, so you're not seeing it right now in this version because I just wanted to make sure I showed how they actually are base game. But I, I've actually changed the bale weights to about two ton. So it makes a massive difference when loading and unloading because I can stack them easy. They're not going to tip over as easily. Um, and it just I just find it, you know, a bit more realistic. So I'd like to see improved physics, improved graphics, and obviously some more some more crops added to the game. So the last two are more of like dream ones. I'm hoping that they happen. Don't know if they will, but these are things I'd love to see in FS25. So this one is VR. I want to see VR in FS25. Imagine how cool it would be to get a VR headset and actually feel like I'm in this tractor, driving around, and obviously if I wanted to touch, you know, all these different things, I could, and I could still have a steering wheel in front of me and play the game like that. I know it probably wouldn't make very good recording footage. Like, I don't know if you could record it as a content creator, you know, because it would be a bit of a weird setup recording it. We could try. Um... But having VR, I think a lot of people would love the option for that. I mean, think about the amount of hours we play FS. Most people that play FS play it for a long time and get over a thousand hours or whatever. Imagine how much involved they'd be if they played VR. Um, it's just nice to have the option as well. I think it'd be really cool to have the option for VR. Um, so I'm hoping to get something VR related definitely because i'd probably you know because i'd love to do that in my own personal safe games something i don't make content on especially if the videos weren't easy to kind of record and showcase to you guys but i mean it'd just be nice to have that option vr i think is is, is, is a natural step at some point um, but the sooner the better for me so the last one is a bit of a a strange one to try and explain, but it's kind of in my head and I'm calling it farm life. It involves a load of things like showcasing what actually working on a farm is like, not just all the machinery things. So farm life can be like manual labor jobs, mucking out with a shovel. It could be working in a parlor. I want to showcase that kind of gameplay. So I want to be able to walk into a parlor. I want to be able to milk cows. I want to be able to pick up a shovel, muck out, you know, the animals the way most people do or bedding up you know throwing a bale in tearing the bale up and kind of spreading it around somehow i'd also love caring for young stock because like caring for young stock as well that's a manual laboring farm lifestyle job this is what most farm hands te uh, technically do this is why i'm sitting outside this from my farm hand series because it'd be, it'd be great to have that kind of not role play but kind of career mode you could say where there's manual labor jobs you're more hands-on you can do parlor work, you can care for young stock. Um, there's things that you can do that don't require a tractor that you're actually on foot walking around, a bit like you do with the chainsaw. That's kind of like a manual labor job. It's, you know, it makes you feel more involved in and what you're doing in the gameplay. Um, I'd love as well to have the option to have a mobile phone. So if I need a fuel delivery, I can ring that up on my phone. But obviously you're not going to call and be calling people, but you just pick up your phone, it shows on the screen somehow and then you can just deliver ask for a fuel delivery so it's a little bit more better than just walking up to the side of a fuel tank and ordering that way you do it on your phone so it feels like you're actually del like asking for a delivery and you pay it that way then the next thing you know within six hours of gameplay you've got the fuel in the tank we don't need the animation i know that probably be more difficult to see an animation of a truck being just driving onto the farm delivering but it'd be nice to order fuel that way for a mobile phone and with that you can also do a lot of other things like feed deliveries like you can ask for a feed delivery from your mobile phone. Fuel drop-off, like I said. Things like eating and drinking in-game. I'd love to see the, you know, eating and drinking in-game. I know a lot of people probably wouldn't want to see that, but it's 
again, it's nice to have that option to play realistic where you're not just tending to the farm and the animals and stuff like that and driving a tractor and doing field work. You're also looking after yourself and your farm and making it succeed in that. That way, having better finances, um, obviously, like I said, eating and drinking, hand tools. It would be great to have hand tools, like even if it's like a shovel, a spanner, whatever it was, like we do with the, with the chainsaw. Just something... That obviously makes us interact a little bit more when we're on foot um, and showcases what it's like to actually be on a farm as a farmer. A lot of the time, farmers aren't always in tractors. They're obviously living that farm life. And I'd love the way a way of doing that, even if it was like a career mode, not just this sandbox mode we get, um, a career mode where it was called farm life and it had the manual laboring jobs, a parlor that you could milk into, uh, fuel drop-offs, mobile phones, milk collection you could organize from that feed deliveries you could organize from your mobile phone hand tools to interact a little bit better uh, and you could do contracts through your mobile phone things like that i think that'd be such a great idea to have a more interactive way and bring up your mobile phone and just pop it up like that you've got options for contracts you've got options for deliveries you can get fuel you can get feed you know it can have a collection milk collection if your milk tank's full um loads of things you can even order some food or you know anything you can even get into a shop buy some food and then you've got it in your inventory and then you can obviously consume from your inventory i think that'd be a nice thing to put in so i've said 10 of my wish list items for fs25 i'd love to know what you think of my ideas but also i want to hear about your ideas please put them in the comment section i'm sure you've also got some much better ideas than i've had one thing is for certain, though, I am super excited for FS25. So I think that leads in perfectly to the last bit that I want to talk about, which is Lama and FarmCon. Now, a week from today from when I'm recording this video, so it will actually be six days from when it comes out. Lama is obviously over the two days. So I am going to it and I, am, I will be wearing my Scroff logo. So if you see me, please feel free to come up and say hello. Um, I'm not hiding from anything. I'll be there saying hello. Now, I know there's a community event being held by uh, Giants themselves. So there'll be the Giants booth and I'll make sure I go to that. Um, I know FSG and DJ have, and PharmaCop have all set up a community meet for everyone to go to. Now, I am involved in that, but I haven't put my logo all on it just because I'm going with my partner and I didn't want to you know, leave her on her own, basically. I'm just going to be honest with everyone. I didn't want to leave her on, my, on, on her own. I made plans originally to go to Lama with my partner, and I don't want her to just feel like she's been left out. So I'm going to be there, and I will say hello to everyone, but I'm also going to meet a few modders as well. So if you see me, please feel free to say hello. I will make sure that I show myself at the community meet, but I won't stay for the whole thing um, just because I've obviously made plans to do other things. But I want to say hello to everyone. So if you, if you do see me, please feel free to come up, say hello, um, and I'd love to have a chat with everyone. Um, even if it's about George or Faffin or whatever it is, I'd love to say hello to everybody. Um, I also want to say about FarmCon. I have booked my tickets to FarmCon, so I'm going from the 5th to the 7th, and actually FarmCon is in Marktoberdorf and a Bavarian uh, town in Germany, which is just south of Munich this year. Uh, so it's going to be from the 6th of July to the 7th. I've booked my flights and my accommodation, and I'll be going there from the 5th and 7th, and it's going to be a massive one. So if, or if anyone's going to that as well, please, again, come up, say hello. I know it's a way off, but just want to say now, please say hello to me at FarmCon, because I'll be there as a fan, um, hopefully learning so much about FS25 at that point. I can't wait for FarmCon. It's going to be a great, great adventure, let's say, and uh, I'm super excited about that one as well. So on that note, I am going to leave the video there. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. It's a bit of a different one, but I just wanted to have a good chin wag about Farming Simulator, the future of it in FS25. Please give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. If you're new, hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.